So we've looked at how to find an equation of a circle in standard form. Now what happens if they give us the general form of an equation and they want us to actually find standard form? Well, it's really not too bad, but we are going to use lots of concepts that we learned in the last chapter. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to get my x's together and my y's together. So this is going to become x squared plus 4x plus y squared minus 4y minus 1 equals 0. Now what I need to do here is I notice I have an x squared and I have a 4x. And if I kind of put some parentheses around those, it might give you a better idea of what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to complete the square so that I can get these into the form of x minus h squared and y minus k squared. So remember when we did that before, I'm going to go ahead and leave a little space for that. And we're going to do the same thing with y. And I'm going to go ahead and add the 1 to both sides. Now, in order to complete this square, remember we take half the b term, which is 2, and then I'm going to square that. Square that. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Half of 4 is 2, and I'm going to square that. So now, I can rewrite the first one as x plus 2 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals. Now, remember we did add 2 squared and 2 squared, so I need to add that to the other side. Because whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. So I want to go ahead and I want to take a look at this again and say, okay, if I want it to look like the formula, I need to have a minus sign with my x. So this would be x minus a negative 2 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals, now I've got 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. Now, in the formula, I need to find out what r is. So I need to figure out what squared is 9. So this is going to be x minus a negative 2 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 3 squared. So now we know that the center is going to be at minus 2 and 2 and that the radius is 3. So what I want you to do is I want you to go and actually draw the graph and then come back and see if you got the correct answer. So your, your circle should look a lot more prettier than mine. Mine's kind of lopsided over here on the right. The main thing is that, that you find the center at negative 2 and 2 and then you can move 3 units to the right, 3 units up, three units to the left, and three units down to make your pretty circle.